So many of you know I had a solo morning at Magic Kingdom because my family decided to sleep in and they ended up getting left. Let me tell you what I did on my magical solo morning. I scanned into the park at 8 a.m. I knew I wanted to have a relaxing morning. We had already did all of the rides the night before when we had extended evening hours. Since I had some time before early theme park entry at 8.30, I ducked into the Emporium to get the ears I've been wanting and they had them. I was also able to check out the new Little Mermaid ears. They're beautiful and they will set you back $50. After I got my ears, I went over to Main Street Bakery to order my coffee because there is nothing like a coffee on Main Street. I got my usual, which is a brown sugar, oat milk, shake, and espresso topped with vanilla, sweet cream, cold foam. I decided to catch the morning show. I'm so glad I did. It really gets you hyped for the day. I highly recommend it. I ran over to Adventureland to rope drop Jungle Cruise. I'm so glad I did. I only waited 25 minutes and Skipper McKenzie was hilarious. Snack time! The spring rolls are my favorite snack in all of Magic Kingdom. I got the cheeseburger spring roll and the pastrami spring roll. With my spring rolls in tow, I went and found a spot on the hub grass to chill, relax, vibe, and of course eat my delicious spring rolls. 10 out of 10. After eating, I decided to do some shopping and check out the new Coach collection. I also found the 2021 Dooney collection. It sold out online, but it is in the parks. Then I went on my stories and asked you guys to say a prayer for my wallet. May it rest in peace. I saw the 50th anniversary cavalcade. This one's my favorite. Say hi to Minnie. After the cavalcade, I hopped over to go see the main cheese, Mickey Mouse. After my visit with Mickey, I stepped out on Main Street and saw Pooh and Friends. The People Mover had been closed all morning. I saw that it was finally open and took myself on a nice relaxing ride. After the People Mover, I saw the Festival of Fantasy Parade. This was my first time seeing this parade and I loved it. There were so many characters and rare characters at that. Prince Philip from Sleeping Beauty, when's the last time you saw that guy? And this dragon absolutely took my breath away and it actually blows fire. And I screamed my head off when I saw Jiminy. I love Jiminy Cricket. Then it was time to bring out the one who started it all, Mickey Mouse. And as always, he totally makes me cry. Every time I see Mickey, I end up in tears. I just love him so much. After the parade, I went to Sunshine Tree Terrace to get my favorite, the I Lava You Float, and I was able to enjoy it by myself, which rarely happens. And all my childhood dreams came true with my first full-on castle stage show. On the way out, I listened to the Dapper Dance. It was a magical morning at Magic Kingdom.